Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 59 YouTube videos covering beginners, intermediate and advanced level concepts. From couple of videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real time scenarios where you might encounter with different types of obstacles and how can we solve those obstacles while automating your test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. This is our obstacle 18 in terms of real time scenarios and this is our lesson 60 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca training. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. In this lesson, I am going to teach you a real time scenario where you need to solve an obstacle by interacting with a web table which is dynamic in nature. The content of the web table is dynamic and the number of rows of the web table is dynamic. So you need to interact with search dynamic web table and calculate the number of rows of that particular web table and enter the number of rows into a web application. So now let us go to our obstacle list and understand in detail what is the obstacle that we need to solve for. So this is our obstacle. The obstacle name is lots of rows and it is categorized as medium. So let's go for it. So here in order to complete this obstacle you need to count the rows in the table, input the count into the text field and click the button labeled click me. So you can scroll down here you need to input the number of rows of this particular table. Let us see how many rows this row how many rows this table has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this table has 18 rows. If I enter the rows correctly and then click me, then you solve your automation problem correctly. Let me retry again. So now if you see the number of rows changed, this time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? So if I enter it as 12, then what happens? We'll see. See, your automation problem is not correctly solved. So let me enter 13 and click me. So your automation problem is solved. So that means this table is dynamic in nature and the content also changes. So how can we solve this? Let us go to Tricentis Tosca. As usual, we are going to scan all our objects that are required for this particular obstacle under obstacles folder. Right click, scan, application, so select the application that you would like to scan. This is my application. Click on scan. We require three objects. One is your web table, your edit box and click me button. So let's go back here. Let's go back to Xscan. So here, this is my row count web table. And then this is my edit box where I'll be entering the row count. And this is my click me button. So these three objects that I require to automate the scenario. Now let us go back to our obstacle and take the obstacle name. Copy this one and name your module with the obstacle name. So it is best practice to name the modules or name the modules in logical way. Okay. So done. Now let's save the module. 
and close the X scan. Go back to Tricentis. So what is the module that we scanned? So this is our this is our new module that we scanned. Double click on this. You can see row count table, row count edit box, and click me. So let us go back to again our blue section, which is test case section. So let me right click on this obstacles test case folder and create a new test case. Name this with the same name as your obstacle name and then double click on this particular obstacle. Now let us start automating our test case. For that, let me drag this module and drop on to your test case. So what is our first action? We need to calculate the row count. So how can we calculate the row count of your dynamic whip table? So for that, what I'm going to do here, I would like to use a row count property. What is the property I would like to use? I would like to use row count property. Your row count is equal to what I'm doing. I'm going to store the dynamic row count because see, whenever I execute this particular test case, the row count is not constant. It keeps on changing. That's why I would like to store this row count into a buffer called rows. Okay, this is my buffer. So here, if you want to store the row count into a buffer, you need to select the action mode as buffer. So what row count I am storing? I am storing the row count of this particular web table. So once I store the row count into a buffer, now I need to enter the row count into the edit box. Right? So the here, I would like to call the buffer where I'm storing the row count, right? I would like to call the same buffer here. Open curly braces, capital B represents your buffer. And then open square braces. What is the buffer name? Rows is your buffer name. Close square braces and then close your curly braces. So this is my buffer. I'm calling the buffer. I'm basically entering the value stored in a buffer and then I need to click on this particular click me button for that I'm gonna select click option and your action mode for these two will be input right now let's change the work state as completed and now let us save the test case so let me run this particular test case and see if it works for us. Okay, right click and run in scratch book. Let us see if it calculates the row count correctly. See it entered the row count correctly. So let me try again. Let me execute the same test one more time. So this time your row count is gonna change earlier it was 18 right so let me retry this one okay let's go back here and let me run this particular test one more time right click and then run in scratch book see it entered the row count correctly and then clicked on click me button so which means our test case automation is successful so you can see the test results here okay so here the row count is stored under buffer which is 18 and then we are entering the same 18 here okay so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box hope you all understand how can we automate the obstacle which involves the dynamic web table oh you all understand how can we solve an obstacle where we need to count the number of rows in a dynamic web table and you need to input the count of number of rows into a text field by using the concepts called dynamic web table count number of rows by using row count concept please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos.
डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो थैंक यू